Today I'm going to share with you how to make some little windscreens or wind muffs for the microphones on your camera. Now this can be done with any style of camera and with any mic configuration. It's totally custom and removable. Now however this one is probably going to be my most challenging because the microphones are very small and there's very little surface area here. As I want to make sure that it doesn't interfere with the flash here. And um, yeah, so let's give this little tiny camera a try. But you can do this with any of your cameras so that you can have a wind filter when you're outdoors. So, first of all, what you're going to need is some faux fur. I got this faux fur off of one of my jackets. I hate this stuff, I don't like it up around my face. So, I removed them from my jackets and a jacket has a ton of this faux fur that you can make a lot of different wind muffs with. The thicker the fur the better the wind control will be. Now please don't go and chop up your wife's girlfriend's sister's mother's jacket without asking. <laughs> I'm sure you can probably find some in the craft shops as well. And this one has a knit background on it which is nice. And we're really only going to need just a tiny little bit for this camera here because the mics are very small. So I'm going to straighten out the fluff here and cut off just a small piece that's sewn on here. Let's get that off. Remove any extra fluff. We don't want any of that getting on the camera lenses. Okay. Now this should be enough for both mics. So I'm going to cut this in half now. I'll just separate this fluff a little bit and cut it in half. And again, remove any loose pieces of fluff. There we go. So now we have two small pieces of fluff to help with the wind control. And the other thing we're going to need is some sticky Velcro. This Velcro is, has a sticky tape on one side. So I'm just going to cut off two very small pieces of the Velcro. And I'm probably going to have to cut these down as well to fit around the camera. So I'm going to leave my flash open here. And yeah, I'm going to need just, maybe I shouldn't have cut two pieces because I'm just going to need half of this. There we go. And what we're going to do is Stick one side of the Velcro down and we're going to just check and see where the camera microphone hole is. Then I'm going to have to poke a little hole in this to open it up to let the sound through. Okay, so we'll poke a hole in this. So I have my little piece of Velcro here and I'm going to poke a hole down through it. Through both pieces. As big as the little microphone here. We want to get that opened up. Uh, 
And I don't want to get the stickiness gone off of it, so here we go. All right, so now we're going to line up the hole that we just opened up. Now, if you have a big microphone, you'll get a bigger piece of Velcro and cut a hole in it to expose your entire microphone. And then we'll take this piece of fluff. Oh, the hole didn't go entirely through. Let's make sure that's gone through all the way. Okay, so once you make sure your hole's gone through all the way, make sure your flash can maneuver properly. It's not in the way of anything else. And then stick your windscreen on there. Now we're going to press and hold. It depends on the type of Velcro you have. Okay, so we have the windscreen cover there and the windscreen that can just go on. Now we'll do the same with the other side. I'll just make sure that my flash can come up, and it can. Okay. And make sure that I can take this off. Okay. So now it's just time to take it outside. <laughs> and it looks really silly, I know. But uh, the best wind muffs have the longest fur on them like this, so we'll take it outside and see if it makes a big difference. So I'm outside here now, it's raining today, and I'm in the wind, and I have the wind muffs off. And I'm also just going to blow lightly into the microphones. So here I am outside with the muffs on and the wind actually picked up a little bit so hopefully you can see the difference here and uh, we'll take a look at how it sounds with the muffs on and I'm gonna blow into each microphone as well and see if you found any difference so here they are and they made quite a difference as you can see and they were quick and easy to make just some pretty inexpensive and practically free materials and you can make your own custom wind muffs for any style cameras microphones.